Oh, hey, it's Jess and welcome to another video. Today's video is going to be kind of different if you can't tell by the scenery. I've been watching a lot of vlogs where they do a day in the life of a reseller and I thought it would be fun to do a day in the life of a part-time reseller who happens to have the day off. So I'm going to take you along with me throughout my day and let's have some fun. So this will be a typical Monday for me and we're going to get started with shipping. All right, starting with Poshmark, the first thing we have going out is a pair of Chico's jeans and these are in my thread up box. Here we are and I'm going to go ahead and throw you over there. Next up, I sold a Victoria's Secret lingerie and I actually just listed these so they are right over there. Next is this Adidas Utah Jazz basketball shirt. It sold for full price. And here you are. And then I sold these coat shoes for $32. And you are right there. All right, all packaged up and ready to go. All right, so I was kind of in a rush and didn't have enough time to show you guys the rest of my sales for the weekend. Um, so I'll do that in a different part of this video. Now I'm going to the gym. I'm only going to be there for like 45 minutes. Usually I like to be there an hour, an hour and a half. Um, but then I got to run to my parents' house. Uh, they don't live here yet. They're in the process of moving. So I have to go let um, a cabinet guy in or a carpeting guy in. <laughs> so I have the key. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then I will go on a thrift trip. All right, let's get going. And here we are, Club Fitness, and look who's here, my husband. post office but I don't have time so I'm off to my parents it's about a 20-25 minute drive and it's kind of in wine country so it should be a beautiful scenery so the fun part about my parents house is they actually have a path in the backyard that you can run and I <laughs> hope there's no squirrels or snakes that are gonna like eat me so just walking through the woods in her backyard there's her little picnic chair and yeah, you can see it's nice and beautiful back in here and taking in that fresh air. And now I am driving over the bridge over to Chesterfield. That is the Missouri River right there. So fun, fun. Okay, done at my parents' house. So now we are off to Goodwill. I decided to go to Chesterfield Valley at Goodwill because it's a pretty bougie area and I can usually find um, expensive stuff here. Sometimes they're expensive themselves in pricing, so we'll just see what we can find. Also, I wanted to mention the other things I did sell on eBay. The first thing is this Nelly Dilemma t-shirt. I've had this for a long time. I did buy it at Goodwill and it sold for full price $21.99. The next thing sold on a best offer for $33, which is totally acceptable. It is a soft surroundings. This was like a turtleneck dress. It was super cute. I love picking up soft surroundings. I will always pick it up. I paid $5.99 for this and it sold pretty quickly, probably within a month. And the next thing is something I picked up a Thursday at the Goodwill Bins. You will see that haul later on. So make sure you guys are looking out for that. This is a White House Black Market uh, jacket and is really nice. And funny enough is the person who bought this, her name is Jennifer Lopez. So this does look very Jennifer Lopez-ish. So I'm super excited that I can technically say I dressed Jennifer Lopez, but not really because I know it's not her. All right guys, are you ready to go thrifting with me? Let's go inside. Super fancy, huh? Boop, boop, boop. Check out these carts, they're super nice. And again, this being a ritzy area, I mean, this lady's wearing a coach bag. Um, first stop is the shoes and I found some sketcher shape ups. I've actually sold these before. I didn't get much for them. So I probably 16.86, yeah, not in my price range. But then I saw these Vince shoes. I don't do that well with Vince either, <laughs> so. I unfortunately did not pick these up, um, but I did look down below and there was another pair of Vince shoes and these were um, not as beat up as they look here. They were velvet. Uh, they were yellow tag and they were $4.79 
and yellow tags today were 75% off. So I checked out the other shoe section and was like, holy cow, $42 for some shoes? Oh, they're muckalucks. I was sure they were going to be Uggs, so not paying that much. And then I found these at Disney Sorel, and I was for sure those were going to be a definite yes, but $41, there was not much profit there. So I scanned the racks and I found this at Vineyard Vines. Vineyard Vines does okay for me. I thought that was a cool print on the shoulders, but again, not paying that much for Vineyard Vines. So Soft Surroundings is definitely a good pickup for me. Uh, this one was a little uh, iffy, so I took a closer look at it. And then there was a huge stain right there. Like, what? <laughs> okay, so I put that one back. And then I found a Victoria's Secret. This was really nice. Lace and sheer. Um, that was a little out of price range, especially with this big old hole right there. What is going on, <laughs> Goodwill? So I put that one back. Okay, it is already two o'clock and I haven't eaten yet. And I just got done in Goodwill. I spent $44.78, which isn't bad. I got a few things. I'll do a haul later. All right, off to the post office and then hopefully to get something to eat or maybe I'll just eat at home. Okay, now we are at the post office. There's a look at. It's usually super packed on Mondays, um, but I'm not really sure why it's not right now. Wow, I look a hot mess. But let's go inside and drop off my packages. So real quick, I wanna share with you guys that my postman is not the greatest. So I do have to take all of my packages to the post office. And thankfully they have the kiosk there and I can scan the packages and they get scanned uh, within a few hours. So I will show you the process and how easy it is. You just hit a couple of buttons on this machine, answer a few questions, and then you can just scan your package and then it shows it is shipping and then you just put it in this drum right here and you say goodbye to it because it's off. Finally home and here's Mr. Meow Meows. He's 14 years old. He is my favorite kitty. Yes, I do have a favorite. And more recently, we have adopted Bob. Hello, Bob. How are you doing this morning, cutie? Bob is definitely the cuddler. <laughs> he is very feisty too, but he loves to cuddle. And his name is Bob because he has no tail. No tail, Bob. Cutie. Mwah. And then we have cutie patootie Sam. Sam, come here. Sam? Where are you going, Sam? Sam is definitely our hungry boy. He likes to eat. Okay, so I'm back home, obviously, and I'm just gonna go ahead and run through what I got today. First up were these Vince shoes. They're pretty clean. I do have to do a little bit of scrubbing. They are like a velvety feel. And there is Vince on the inside, Vince on the back. And these were yellow tagged, which were 75% off. So I ended up getting them for a little over a dollar. And then I don't know why I picked up these ASOs, um, probably because they were 75% off too. Yes. So these were 75% off of $4.79. So I paid a little over a dollar for these. And they look like they're like hardly ever worn. The bottoms have a little bit of tiny wear to them, but not much. Um, I don't know that I've ever sold ASOs before, but we'll give them a shot. All right, I'm just pulling randomly. I did find Eileen Fisher. This was a normal price, $4.79. Surprisingly, they did not mark this up. And the reason I got this is it's 100% royal alpaca. So I'm guessing the alpacas like lived in a castle or something. I'm not sure. Uh, the size tag is ripped off. I will just take measurements, but this is just a nice, fun little red piece. Great for the holiday season. Here we have a cloth and stone by Anthropology. This is just a button down shirt. This was 75% off of $4.79. Surprisingly, they did not mark this up and it's kind of a fun blue, kind of white tie dye print so excited to get that one listed and i found a matilda jane i don't 
always pick up Matilda Jane, especially when it's just a shirt. But this was yellow tagged. It was only $4.79. I have paid up to $8 for Matilda Jane. Um, but I ended up selling it and I believe I have sold all but one of my Matilda Janes that I have. So really good sell through rate, really good sell through rate. This piece I bought for me, I need another athletic, <laughs> I need all the athletic pieces. This is Athleta, um, but I don't have any white tops that are long sleeves. So I'm pretty sure this will be good for winter. So I'm gonna go ahead and wash that one. Did pay regular price and it wasn't as much as they normally charge. They normally charge like $8.19. This is only $4.79. It's a Tommy Bahama little button down shirt. This is a women's, the buttons are on the left. And I don't know how well Tommy Bahama just plain shirts do. Well, I guess this is striped shirts. But then I looked at the material tag because the material tags do matter. This is 100% linen. And it has the fun like tropical print on the collar. So looking forward to listing this one. Okay, and I was going to check out and then there was a lady in the row that I was trying to go through. So I just went in through another row and I ended up in the men's section and I did come across these pants. They look like they'd never been worn. It's bonfire. And I just looked them up and they looked like they were going for like $45. And again, I thought these were brand new. So I was like super excited for them. They're really, really nice. Like the front, the back is really, really nice. I paid $8.84. But as I was throwing this in my car, I did notice there is a little bit of wear um, to the bottoms right there and on the other side and on the other leg. So hopefully I can still make a decent amount of money on these. And another Athleta piece. This was interesting because it was a skirt and legging set. I don't normally find these in the thrift store, so I'm just gonna say that it's hard to come across. <laughs> these were $8.12, the normal pricing for Athleta, but I'm figuring it's like a two for one, so maybe I could get a little bit more. So we'll see on these. And then I was super excited. I thought these were fake at first, but I did have to go check with my friend Kendra. She is like the Lululemon expert. Um, so yeah, these were Lululemon. And the reason I was thrown off is because that logo is just a little bigger than most of the logos that I do see. But it does have the size dot in here. It is a size six, which is my size. So I'm going to keep these for a while and then maybe sell them off. But yeah, they're really cute. They have a little mesh on the side, pink on the front and black on the back. And I do kind of like the big logo. So everybody in the gym can know like I'm a Lululemon girl. I have money. Plus I'm working out. <laughs> Who cares? And then my last and probably most exciting piece was this Marissa Christina, and I don't know that all of her stuff is that great, but oh my gosh, you guys, look at this. <laughs> There's like a little leopard on the front, and he goes across to the back. Um, Love this, love this a lot. It did mark this up to $8.12, which is totally fine. This, the comps, they looked amazing. I was pretty excited to see the last one had sold for so much money. Okay, that was the haul from today. I have to get listing because if I don't list, it's just gonna sit and it'll sit for a while. So let's get to listing. All right, here is my listing process. I take pictures of the front and then I will take a picture of the label and the tag and then a picture of the graphic on the front. And then I will take a picture of the back and I do have a ring light. I do measure underarm to underarm and then top of the shoulder to the bottom. And then once I'm done, I will go ahead and fold it up to store it into inventory. I do like to fold things really nicely. And I uh, do use plastic bags. So you'll see my plastic bag coming up. And I do like to use these because um, there are other creatures in my basement. <laughs> And then we find a sticker that is not being used and we place it on my item and then we store it in my bin so I'm able to find it. All right, and now that we're done listing, I have like 10 minutes until my daughter's bus gets here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get her off the bus, take a shower and then enjoy the rest of the evening. Not doing reseller stuff. <laughs> So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure you give it a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed down below. All right, that's it for me. Have a great day. Bye.